climbing like a little mountain climber girl I'm just a slithering girl doing everybody else's dirty work as a student I'm just a slithering slippery sliding slithering bitch Hey, and welcome back to Let's Play Hogwarts Legacy. I have my face on today, so if that's weird to you, sorry. Um, we left off in herbology class, which fucking slays. Um, is my favorite part of Hogwarts Legacy so far. Um, but who knows what will be my next favorite part. We do have to redo, um, like potting this plant because I guess that's like the checkpoint to save. So, real quick, let's talk to her again. I'm just gonna speed through talking to her yes. since we've already had this conversation. Um, also, once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wickenweld Potion. I'll let, I'll let Professor, Professor Sharp tell, tell you about, about that. that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. The Chinese chomping you cabbage? Some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. Now, what does that the cabbages mean? Cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. I, I don't want Come Mr. Pruitt. I finished. want Sebastian oh, to accompany mind me. mind your fingers. They do bite. Professor Garlic is so damn cute. That's what I'm saying. You can use him in fights. Interesting. So apparently, this dipshit has Hello. offered to... Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. Apparently, I'll be showing Leander you the Chinese Pruitt chomping cabbages. Take us. Up these stairs will take us there. He's but a Gryffindor. This is not, um... This is not what I wanted to do today, but it's fine. Whatever. So my back is killing me. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the is way. Is he hitting on us right now? Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, I think he's hitting on us well, right now. Thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate. Here we are. Home is he talking shit chicken. about my man to me? Go on. Oh, I have to move my cabbages. phone because it's like Just blocking mind my little mask. I almost lost a thumb once. Okay, Don't worry. There, Nurse Blaney put it back on. Oh, Trust me. You do I'm not back. want to go through that. <sighs> okay. Um, I guess let's collect now, the Chinese chomping cabbages. Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. He's deaf hitting on you. That's what I'm saying. I think he's hitting on me right now because first of all, he's talking bad about my boyfriend right to my face. And then second of all, oh, I see something. Uh, Revelio. Thank you. Um, uh, but yeah, he's talking bad about my boyfriend right in my face. And then secondly, he's giving us all these compliments we didn't ask for. So, interesting. Okay, now it says, what are we supposed to do with this? What does it want me to do with this? It says, hold tab and tap that to open the tool wheel and assign. Okay, so hold tab. Select the cabbage. Click tab. Look oh! They'll chomp on anything they can get there. Uh, but mouths are. Oh. Oh. How long have you been alive? About 40 out. minutes. Did save her the denoming, but they left her hungry. That took me a damn minute. Tatters. I understand now. I understand. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? Yeah, My vicious little bastard indeed. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. You're weird as shit. Just because those cabbages will chomp on a dummy doesn't mean they do the same on, say, a goblin. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. This man's showing us how to Death throw has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. 
He's weird. I do not like Take him. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Okay, I'm going back to Professor Garlic. Thank you for that. He's intense. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't like that he was talking bad about Sebastian right to my face. Like, that's not my baby daddy. Oh, look at this classroom! I love it so much. Look at how pretty it is and, like, how detailed it The butterfly? Bitch, please. Oh, my God. Oh my goodness. Mm, I love it. All the little plants. Look at this plant right here. Girl. When you grow, oh my God. You bring okay. joy into the world. Who's Sebastian talking to? Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why the very idea? Don't act like you're too cool for me, Sebastian. Oh. Oh. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. Oh yeah, we're fine. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Thank you, Professor. But looking after plants isn't all that thrilling to me. I think you'll come to see that the fruit is well worth the labor. Oh. As we herbologists like to say, tend to your plants and they'll tend to you. Honestly true though, tend to your well, plants and they'll Well, I suppose tend that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. She's so cute. She is so cute. What's upstairs? Oh, I have no idea. That other garden area. Oh, and I just caught this one staring at me. Oh, those mandrakes are weird. Very weird. Oh, is that I ominous? I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Hmm. Interesting. Where's everybody else going? Ominous is so funny. The way he's just like walking with his wand right now. Look at I that one with his books flying like above that. his head. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. The details on this game nice to see you, my young are friend. crazy. I can't grow anything. I kill plants. Oh no. I have a few plants. It's so pretty in here. So pretty. Okay, let's look at our quest and see what we are going to be doing next. Potions class. Ooh! Okay, this I can get down with. From herbology class to potions class? Bitch, I am excited. Let's fucking go. Running to potions class to make some shit up and make it explode. Well, I guess that's chemistry class. This is potions class. I don't know what we're gonna do in potions class. I don't think we've gone to potions class yet. Look how pretty it is in here. Look at the details. Look at all the students talking. Our classmates. Also, I'm starting to feel nauseous because I haven't ate anything today. But I don't know what to eat and I don't want to go to the store. Uh... Shouldn't that be auras or someone Ooh! from the ministry? Garden so this school? is our first time going to potions class. Hogsmeade. I wasn't confused. Professor Look at the paintings Black moving. Would never allow that. It would make mm. him look completely incompetent, which he is. I've spent 63 hours playing this and I'm still loving the details and enjoying the views. Aww. Drink milk. I, first of all, don't have milk because I would shit myself, literally. Ooh, what's down there? Okay, it's not time to look down there. Oh my god. Look, there's a Sebastian sitting by himself in the classroom right now. Please let me be sitting next to Sebastian for this class. Okay, I'm so excited. Look at the classroom. Look at the- Oh, he's looking at me! Uh, look at me like that again! Uh, here's our little bubbling cauldrons. And this is so cute. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. Okay. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Okay. Mr. Takar 
Can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wiganweld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. Oh, yeah, we it need that. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wiganweld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Please begin? You didn't tell me shit. You just said we're gonna need it. Okay. Use a strong, even motion when crushing oh, your ingredients. Oh, I gotta do it. Okay. Am I doing it right? Okay. Please good. be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Oh shit, I opened something up. Beautiful. A pinch of Dittany. Pork lump juice. More? Stir in the other direction. Stirring. Oh, we are at Sebastian's table. <laughs> I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. Thank and you. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor okay. Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. Yes. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class and rarer ones can be purchased. Okay. Others, however, may be harder to obtain and will require you to be a bit more Why are all of our teachers obsessed with us? Come and see me when you've finished brewing and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay. Shit. My goodness. Um, I so wish you could mod this game. I can and I will after I play it through the normal way first. But I'm gonna uh, do it how it's supposed Don't to be fret done the if you run time. out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Oh, you grow most of what you need. Me too, in real life. My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. Ominous? Okay. What about this girl? Professor Sharp said that Wiganwell potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Me too. Look at Sebastian My over here. considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin just rebellion. Just stirring his shit around? Okay. Thank you, uh, Unicorn Fart. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. Are we not having a... Okay. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiganwell potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've yes. heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. Uh, pleasure, truly. And Hello, I've Amit. never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. Thanks! I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Okay. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love <gasps> We're it. We're going Professor to astronomy Shaw is class? Quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Uh, I'm so fucking excited for astronomy. Okay. Um, we need to collect the... Oh, hold on. Let's go to our quest. So for potions class... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Okay, wait, let me go back. Collect Ashwinder eggs and dark mongrel fur. Well, where the fuck do we get that? Is it like over here somewhere? Oh. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into he his office? He looks like Sebastian. Why do you want to know? Yes. 
But why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. Well, you know I'm a creative I'm Gareth, bitch. by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Gareth Weasley? Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. I totally Listen, want to be his friend. Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Ajurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. Oh. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. That extra spark? I simply need a single Fooper feather. Fooper as you'll already feather. be in Fooper Sharp's Fooper office feather? with his permission. Perhaps you could grab Not it for the me. Feather. I can get you that feather. I'll get you the Fooper feather. The as long as you're feather, certain please. Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Can y'all please Wait stop until saying you see what I'm doing. <laughs> Hurry back to me when you have the feather. I was watching the unboxing video on TikTok today and was tearing up at how much you cry. Oh my god, don't even make me cry again, please. Ugh. Yeah, it was so fucking. All this stuff was so sweet. So fucking sweet. Um, I'm sure that'll probably be the biggest unboxing video I ever have because it was like the first one. Well, the first like two weeks one. Um, but yeah, crazy. Keep your Everyone was super generous. It was so sweet. Oh, there's the mongrel fur. Okay. Memorandum. 31st of December, 1875. It says, Borgen and Burks has an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night. Oh, wait, my British accent. With suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance, given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more R's. Thank you, Kendrick. Um, given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more R's, R's to join those that we have already been watching, that have already been watching the shop. You are among the new additions. Further instructions to follow. Okay. Um, I need my supplies. Ooh, the Ashwinder eggs. Ashwinder. What's in here? Another scarf. We have hella fucking scarfs at this point. What is it? Oh, the Fooper feather. The Fupa feather is purple. Love your accent. It was cute. A prepared witch or wizard always has a few potions on hand. Uh, here's your damn feather. Here's the Fupa feather you wanted. The Fupa Brilliant. feather. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Ajurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Okay. Let's go brew our potion. Could you drop the dipney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate okay. loss of your eyebrows. Let's do this one. Okay, it's gonna take another 25 seconds, so we can wait for that. Saw you were playing Hogwarts Legacy and had to hop on to watch. Hope you're having a good New Year so far. Hey Jess, I'm having an excellent New Year so far. Thank you, I hope you are as well. Oh, you'll know when it's finished. Oh no. Oh no. What does that mean? Fupa feather. <laughs> Let's pick it up. Okay. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Oh no. Get it. Oh fuck. Oh. What are you doing with the Fupa oh. feather? Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. Look how Sebastian's in the background, unfazed. Oh, no, Mr. Weasley. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Weasley That's where the Weasley twins own. get it from. Their ancestor right here. Well. Oh my goodness. Gareth? Don't ask me for another feather. Yeah, don't ask me for another poop of feather. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Revelio. Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though. I'd better clean up. Something. You should finish brewing your potion if you haven't already. We did. We gotta, um... Go back to the professor now. 
I brewed an Edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Ah! I don't know what you mean. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. Okay. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. I'm a rare like occurrence. Him. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The I love herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. Okay. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. Okay. That'll be all. Okay, thank you. Ooh, Rebellio. Oh. I think Snack. you've had enough excitement for one day. Excellent. Missed. Perfect. Well, that was cute as fuck. All right. That was super fucking cute and fun. What does he have to say now? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Yeah, he did. You got me in trouble. Professor Sharp wasn't happy. Leave me out of your grand plans next time. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's already forgotten about it. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Probably did. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Okay. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book. Who the fuck is Scrope? Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get Scrope to the courtyard past the pendulum. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it. Don't what you're up to. Especially and Professor Blink. Don't tell anyone what you're up to. Oh my god, I was about to end the episode, but we can't end on that note. We have to go see who we have to go see Scrope and what he needs. And especially since it's a secret from the professor. Half a bottle of flabbergasted. First Harry Potter stream and loving it. Yay! I I'm obsessed. I'm fucking obsessed. I have to know I what Scrope needs. Keep an eye needs. on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Those aren't her gobstones. I don't think any of these are her gobstones either. Whatever. I'm not worried about her gobstones right now. I'm trying to find. We gotta get to Scrope. I love secrets. That's what I'm saying. I was about to end the live, but fuck no. If he's gonna send me a text like that, or a, a letter, a raven, an owl. Uh, am I supposed to go up these stairs? Yeah. Mm, running to find Scrope. Look how beautiful it is out here. So cute. So fucking cute. Up high. I gotta leave for work. Have a great day. You too, Candy. Jumped in to say hi. Hey. Um. Oh, okay. What is this? Revelio. Lumos. Yeah, I don't know what that thing Revelio. was. Revelio. Device spoiled for me. I'll figure it out later. Um. I still get freaking lost all the time. Yeah, it's a huge map. Huge map. Yes, we need longer Hogwarts content anyways. True. Where in the hell is this? Is that Sebastian right here? Sitting with another girl? Ugh, my heart. I, I can't take it. I can't take it. I just saw one of the um, things, but it's fine. Let's see this mysterious note. Scrope knows about that book you found. Is it missing something? Scrope does not believe- Should I do a Scrope voice? 
Scrope knows about that book you found. Is it missing something? Scrope does not believe it is safe to speak out in the open. Scrope has left another note across the bridge among the circle of rocks. Take care. Tell no one about this. Okay, Scrope. Scrope? Who is Scrope? He's a little house elf. Very good voice. Thank you. Oh, shit, I didn't know you are alive. I am. We haven't been on this little bridge. This is cute. Did you see the commitment? <laughs> I'm doing all the voices. Ooh, I just saw an owl. Two owls. Hello. Cute. It's so fucking cute. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Okay, Revelio. Hmm. Where is the fucking thing? I don't understand. Lumos. I don't understand where the hell the note is. Revelio. Where is it? Where is our note? Am I stupid? Is this gonna open? Wait, do I have to pull? Am I pulling this right now? What in the fuck? Revelio. No, it won't open. Okay. Yeah. Where the fuck? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Fuck you in your- wait, I see it. I see the note. Hold on. Hold on. Go back. I see the note. Can I not? Ah, oh, fuck, how do you get it? Hold on. Carefully. Okay. No, it goes. Okay, go back. Go back. Forward. Why can't I get it? Bitch, give me that damn. Okay. Oh my god. Drag the box. Oh! I understand. Okay, back up. We gotta stack this bitch. Oh! Move out the way, you stupid fucking bo Okay. Do -do -do. Don't mind me, just hopping backwards. Trying to pull this box close enough to hopefully get up there. Okay, let me let go and see if this is good. Wait, no, no, no. Jump. Can I? Yes! Use the box, bestie. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay. Almost there. Head for the pumpkin. Now, what? We? I did not sign up for a scavenger hunt. Almost there. Head for the pumpkins. Just down from the stone circle. Look inside one of them. You may be able to help poor, broken-hearted Scope. Okay. Fuck you, Scope. Okay, let's go find this thing. Pumpkins. Oh, I think I know just the place. I wouldn't figure that out either. <sighs> An owl. I am excited about going to a pumpkin patch. That sounds lovely. We're running through the fields to the pumpkin patch. Oh my god, the views. Beautiful. This whole game is a scavenger hunt. What quest are you working on? Seeing what Scope has to say to us. Just went to potions class. Apparently soon we're going to a astrology or astronomy class. There's a scarecrow. It did just dab. Search the pumpkin patch for another note. I'm looking. Revelio. Oh, I see it. Mm. Okay. 
the young Slytherin must be exceptionally curious by now. Me, Scrope at the water's edge by the broken docks. Scrope, Jesus fucking Christ. In this game, you often don't sign up for these hunts, but end up in them nonetheless. Down to the water's Scrope, edge. Scrope, you hmm. little shit. This had better not be a trick. This better not be a trick. It, I mean, I don't want to have to fuck up a house elf, but I will if I must. So, Scrope, do not play with me, because if I must, I will fuck you up. I do feel a little scared right now. Are y'all scared? Because I'm, like, a little bit scared right now that he's gonna, like, jump out and fucking attack me. Ugh. It's fine. It's fine. Running. Running. Yeah, especially since I don't just see him standing there. That is a little concerning. But we're by the water's edge! Oh! Thank you for coming all this way. Oh, that's not- his voice was way lower. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Okay. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mentioned the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Okay. Happy to help, especially if you can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Okay. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. Oh. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, she poisoned but herself. how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Aww. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. Aw, that's so cute! So what's up with the ring? Tell me more about this treasured ring. Oh, it's adorned with the Black family crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. What happened to your ear? How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. Fuck Apollonia! Okay, whatever, it we'll go get it, but fuck both. Apollonia. I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Take this toast to the grotto just down the coast. Place it on the pedestal there. Good I'll luck. do it for you, but shit. Scrope will wait fuck right crazy here. ass the Apollonia. Best of luck finding your pages. And Abusing the damn ring. Scrope. Missing his whole fucking ear. What in the hell? Got a lopsided fucking house elf now, thanks to Apollonia's dumbass. <sighs> this grotto? I wonder if we're gonna see mermaids at the grotto. Oh my god, that would be so cute. Drink every time you hear a rope. You mean scrub? <laughs> Watch out for the frogs. Oh! Oh! Dog! No! Frog! Oh my god! Bitch, get off of me! I died. Says Mort. Okay. Your journey has ended. Restart for- Oh, that's my first time dying in this game. I didn't know there was gonna be fucking death frogs! Ugh. Help. Help. I hated this quest so much. Bitch, is this about to be difficult? The best of luck finding your pages. Okay, so I have four healing potions. Okay, first of all- I am so sorry. I'm gonna have to move the comments to over here so that I- Let me get a sip of water before I do this. 
let me gather myself before I go on this journey. This is turning into a long Hogwarts stream. I don't fucking care because it looks like we're about to get into some shit and... Okay, I'm hydrated. I have to move the comments over here because I need to be able to see my whole screen. Um, now this is the easy part. It is difficult, they're level 30. I climb to the top of the rocks and hit them from above. That's a good idea. Going up on top of the rocks, fucking them up from above, then coming down. Let me change what spells I have right now. Fuck the fixing shit. I need... I want the hiding one, and then Lumos is fine. Uh, I want Levioso. Well, okay, I must do Levioso for one. And then, yeah, that should be good. And then I'm gonna take your advice, get up on these damn rocks, hit them from above, because I agree, that's a good fucking idea. Fuck them up from above, because they can't get to me from there, right? Am I doing this ass backwards? I don't know. But fuck those frogs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, I'm gonna fuck you up. Um... Jump. Climb, bitch. Climb. Am I going the right way? Could it be? A Merlin trial. Could it be? What the hell is going on here? What am I doing? Okay, anyways. Um... Wait, it says it's the other direction. But I think it just wants us to come down. Yeah, it's this way. It is this way. But I don't- I want to be on top of the rocks. Okay, hold on. I'm not- I'm not good with maps. Hold on. That's a Slytherin motto. I am a Slytherin, true and true. Okay. Where are these damn- Where are these fuckhead-ass frogs? Maybe I went too high up. Am I too high? Where are they at? Mmm. Now use Revelio. Revelio. I don't see- Oh, you're talking about on that thing, use Revelio? <laughs> Do, do, do. What is this? What am I gonna do th with this? Yeah. Are you talking about like pull this thing with me? Am I supposed to bring this bitch with me? That's the Merlin trap. Oh, I'm supposed to put it up here. Not us doing two quests at one time. Get up here, you fat ass fucking. Oh my god. Come on! Come on, Mr. Rock! Come on! Oh my Jesus Christ. Mr. Ball! Come on! There's a bowl. Take it down the trail to the water. Oh. Oh. Come on, Mr. Rock. Mr. Big Rock, come on. Oh fuck, run, 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 run! The rock is gonna fucking- <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Run, bitch, the rock is gonna run you over. Woo! These Merlin trolls won't get the best of me. Oh, beautiful! Very pretty. Okay, now let go of it. Excellent. Now back to these damn frogs. Y'all said I could go up on the thing, but I feel like I can't see them when I'm up there. So, I don't know if we can really... I'm gonna try. Can I climb like this? Yeah, climb. Bitch, keep climbing. Okay. So let's see if we can fuck them up from up here. Because I do like that approach, but there's that fuck-ass frog. Is that not the frog right there? Am I tripping? Or is that a fucking death frog? I feel like- or is that just a rock? Where the hell are these frogs at now that I'm here? 
Use Revelio. Revelio. Revelio isn't telling me shit right now. Watch, now I'm about to fall down this mountain. Ah! Ah! Okay, it's fine. Let me go ahead and hide myself. Careful. Careful. Now, where are these bitch ass frogs? Is that not the frog over there? Moving around? I'm sure it is. And I feel like there's one right here. So, how do I get over there without. Okay. Okay. Careful. Oh, fuck. Okay. Fuck that. But okay, Z, bitch. Oh, I missed him. Great. I fucking hate this. Why is he not even getting hit by my? You know what? Fuck it. I'm running. I can't even get through this damn water. I need to get out of this water and run. Is what I need. To do. Fuck. Tap G to heal. Run. Oh my god, he's fucking me up. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay, I'm doing this different this time. Use Wigan Weld. Or just run past it. It won't let me run! Okay, restart from last checkpoint. Wait, does that mean I have to redo- I'm not redoing the Merlin Trials right this second, if I have to redo that. But I think that would have already been a checkpoint, and then now we're about to- This is the checkpoint? Oh, hell no! This is the worst fucking checkpoint ever, bitch! Heal! Run! Please run! Bitch, if you don't run- Oh my god. Please run. And then Z. That bitch, that was a terrible attempt. That look at all these frogs. Look at, hold on, let me gather myself. Let me gather myself for a second. The potions. How do we use these damn potions? They did you dirty, climb, then you attack. Sorry, back to me getting my ass beat. Y'all, I'm scared. I think this is gonna take me a lot, a lot of times and I hope y'all are enjoying watching me get my ass beat and that you're not annoyed by me getting my ass beat, because y'all know I play Sims. This is my first time ever playing Hogwarts Legacy. So y'all are watching me learn how to play it. So anyways, back to me fucking, oh wait, this is where it starts me back at, bitch. Okay, run, 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 oh my God. Fucking run, you stupid bitch, oh my God. Oh my God, we're doing it, we're doing it. I don't know what that just did. Now climb, climb, climb. Listen to the people, fucking climb. Climb, bitch. Oh, she can't climb any further. Okay, you know what, that's fine. That's what we're about to do. We're about to Z, bitch. Don't fall. Oh no, climb back up, climb back up. No, this way. Climb as high as we can get. I don't think these dumbasses can get up here. Don't fall. Go back. Ooh. Okay. Okay. We need to heal. Yeah. Heal up. It can't do shit. Now, the only thing is I don't want to fall off this thing. So, don't fall. They can't. You're good for now. I need some more of those little... Uh, thing with this. Oh, he can't do shit to me! Bitch. I know they're pissed as fuck. Don't fall. Please, God, don't fall off the damn rock. I wish there was more of the little things to, like, um, throw at them for, like, bigger moves. So I don't have any, like, better spells that will, like, do more damage. Use Incendio, but I'm too far to use that, because that'll just catch me on fire right now. Okay, we're back. Keep hitting it. I know, I just keep hitting it and then walking back so I don't fall. I know this thing's pissed as fuck that it can't get to me. I know it's mad. Back up. Back up. Cause I know as soon as I fall down there, they're gonna fuck me up. Eh. I'm a wizard, bitch. I'm a- 
I'm about to be a dead wither. Get your ass back. Oh my god, it's up here! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck, 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 Bitch. Bitch, get away from me. Get away from me, you fat ass frog man. Let me have a sip of water before before we get back into this. This quest was my 13th reason, not gonna lie. It's about to be mine. Thank you, Unicorn Parts. Uh, my baby laughs every time you scream. That's fucking funny. Slow, calming breaths. Okay. The way I'm never gonna like frogs again after this. Thank you, Kendrick, for the hanging lights. I did this mission on a much higher level. Um, you are better than me then. I'm gonna it's fuck this frog up down here because I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this dumbass fucking. Oh shit. Can we please heal up here? Stupid ass fucking frog. Fuck you. In the most serious fucking way. I fucking hate you. Get the fuck away from me, you fuck ass damn frog hiding behind this thing. Huh. Well, there's one. Okay, got that. We are out of health potions now, so that's excellent. Mm -mm. Collect that. We collected its tongue. Can this please be a checkpoint? Cause shit. Okay, now let's climb up on these things. For these next ones. And fuck them up from above. Oh wait, maybe it's over there we need to get on the things? Okay, hold on. Climbing. Like a little mountain climber, girl. I'm just a slithering girl doing everybody else's dirty work as a student. I'm just a slithering, slippery, sliding slithering. Bitch. Dishonor to your family. Dishonor oh my god, there's one right here! bad frog. Very bad fucking behavior from all of you frog. Oh. I need a cigarette. Okay. There's so many of them. That's what I'm saying. Heal. I have no heals left. <sighs> Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Okay, thank God, we start from me killing that last frog. A win is a win. So I will take that. I will say, if you're gonna play this, my recommendation would be to, um, to make more healing potions before you start this fucking quest. I love how the house elf was like, oh, I can't do it because uh, she just maybe promised to never go there. No, you didn't want to deal with these damn frogs. I'm floating. Okay. Uh, part of me is like, should I just try to like run by? But the other part of me is like, should I? They're gonna see me. They're literally, I just gotta. <laughs> bitch. Oh my god, am 
Am I dead? What is happening? Run, bitch. Oh my god, they're so fucking dead. They're so fucking dead. How did it? Am I dead again? Uh, there's one going behind you. Are both streams gonna be on YouTube? Yeah. Protego won't help. Well, thanks for letting me know that. At least I know that now. On the plus, you can hold 25. Red circle, you have to dodge. Isn't that, uh, how do I dodge though? Is that, what key does that? Hold on, let me figure out how to dodge. Is it control? There we go. Control, 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 control. Gotta remember that. Okay. Let me go ahead and- Oh shit, bitch. That is not what I wanted you to do. Part of me is like, fuck these rocks, fuck this whole thing. Part of me just wants to run all the way. Like, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. But if I could just, I'm gonna just give it one whirl. One whirl, what would happen if I just ran all the way through? Stay on the rocks. I can't get all the way across on the rocks. But just out of curiosity, if I just make a fucking run through it. Now the water fucks me up. The water does fuck me up. But if I just straight down, just try, run. I'm gonna need you to go faster, bitch. I'm gonna need you to go fast. I need you to go faster. Faster. Literally go faster. Literally swim fucking faster. Oh my god. We have zero health. If they hit us one more time, we're dead. That was so close. We were so close to being in there, though. Mmm. Might as well try it. The swimming part is what screws you. You're almost there. Need to get closer. Yeah, if I could get closer without them seeing me. The way you, we are such girls because a guy would sit here and redo it the way it's supposed to be done a thousand times before considering to do some fuck ass shit like this. Also, the fact that it's getting dark right now is not helping me. Because, first of all, I can't fucking see. How do I get down without hurting myself now? I just hurt myself a little bit. Um, and more concerning, what's gonna be in there and I don't have- Oh, it sees me. It sees me. It sees me. Just go. Just, just go. Just go. Just fucking run. I need you to go faster. Swim with all of your might. Are we making it right now? This is not all of your might. But... Why would I need a piece of toast? I suppose that's where it goes. Did we make it? Are we safe now? Are we safe? Good things? Is this all good things? You did it? Yes, yeah, survival. Wow, we went through all that. And I could have just snuck over here this whole fucking time. There's nothing there, it's okay. Make an Olympic swim. <laughs> Okay, what else? First of all, uh, I guess she was hanging out in here. Interesting. There, here's Apollonia's journal. I'm still mad that she left her Could house with one ear. A visitor? Hello? Oh. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> ah. The name's Richard Jackdaw. I was a student, just like you, about a century ago. Hello? How in the world did you find this place? A house elf named Scrope sent me. Said I might find a black family ring here. Yeah, ah. we need that ring. Sorry to say, I sold the ring a long time ago. Poor Scrope. Still holds a candle for Apollonia, I reckon. Damn, he doesn't Can't even have a ring. Can't say I blame him. I stole all these treasures just to impress her. Alas, twas to no avail. 
I ah. thought a secret map I pilfered from Peeves would pique her interest. But she simply rolled her eyes. What would I want with yellowed old pages torn from a book? Not my finest moment. We need I'd them. like to have those pages if you don't mind. They're not here. I thought if Apollonia wasn't interested in the map on the pages, perhaps it would lead to something that would intrigue her. So, I followed the map to what I can only describe as an enchanted cave of some kind. And you see what happens next. Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? And I'll show you where to find the pages. The edge of the Forbidden Forest? How'd you lose your head? I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look around when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After that, I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Why the toast? Why did I need the toast to get in here? Oh, that was Apollonia's idea. Seems some squids love toast. Squids? They should have taught you that at Hogwarts. Why, or how did you steal from Peeves? How is it possible to steal from Peeves? A poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, uh, bottles, bottles, suits, suits of armor. armor. Whatever's sure to cause the most chaos. He dropped them after a particularly aggressive romp through the library. Okay, I'll see you I suppose forest. if that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you at the forest. I'm sure the pages are still tucked in my waistcoat. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, they're yours for the taking. Okay, I'm gonna end this part here before we go to... Oh wait, we gotta return to Scrope. Let me go tell Scrope first, I guess, but we we'll be ending this part before we do the edge of the forbidden forest. Wait, are you telling me though that I gotta deal with these damn frogs again? Nuh-uh. Hold on, can I save? Let me see if I can save where I'm at. Cause this is scary. Okay. Travel to your flu fame. Search the cave. Oh, you're right, search the cave first. Let's search this damn cave first, and then... I hate how slow we are in water, even when I'm doing the, like, run thing. Is there anything else in here? Girl, go in. Okay. We saw her little... thing. I don't want to talk to him again. It says, Lumos, the light, there's the forbidden forest... There's a little entrance to something and a bridge. Okay. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. I love chess. Um, this thing spins. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. And then Rebellia. And then one of y'all said use the flu flames. I entirely fucking agree. Because I would rather use a flu flame right now than end up, um, dead from these fucking frogs again. So we're supposed to be meeting him over here. Or, wait, hold on. Quest. Track that. It says, return to scrope. So, Scrope is apparently... All the way... I don't know if we have... A flu flame over that. Can I zoom out more? We don't have a flu flame over there? But... Where the hell are all my flu flames? Use the world map? Oh. Oh! Y'all are so fucking smart. Okay, come over here. 
World map, travel to the closest one, world map. Okay, yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm definitely, before the next quest, gonna do some other shit first and get more potions. Like, the healing potions. Mm -mm. Is he moving towards us? Guess we're about to find out. Return to scrub. I don't even think I'm supposed to be going through the water like this, but whatever. Ooh, leech juice. Thank you. Ooh! Okay, we definitely need to drag this here. Oh, careful. Okay, maybe not. Revelio? Revelio. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I guess I'll save that for another day. Get more of this pork lump juice for more potions. Excellent. The way I would have rage quit with the frogs. I'm committed. The flame. Oh, hold on. Incendio. Mm -mm. Ooh, what is this? This looks intriguing. This looks very intriguing. Not me getting. Wait, should I not be going in here right now? I don't know. Okay, hold on. Before I get started on a whole different quest or some shit, let me go back to Scrope. But good to know that this cave is here. Very interesting. They're fine. You look on the symbol of the cubes and cast the spell that matches the symbol. Oh. Hello, little Scrope. Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollina's Grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black Family Ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Well, Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. Aww. Oh, bye, Scrope! Okay, on that note, I'm going to be ending this part here. That was super fucking fun. I don't think I'm doing any lives tomorrow because I'm going to be painting my office. Um, it's not a quest, it was a treasure chest or something. Okay, good to know for the next, um, the next live. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part of Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I will not be going live later tonight. So it's probably my last weekend live and I'll see y'all Monday for Love Island. I love y'all. Oh, once you're done your office, make a video tour. Oh, I'm definitely going to. I'm also recording along the way, so. Yep, super excited for my office. But I love y'all. See you later. Bye.